Hey and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and it's the second video on estimating complex calculations. Just to go through what I want to do, I'd like you to be able to estimate complex calculations that involve decimals by rounding to one significant figure. Okay, so imagine we were asked this question. Estimate 6.8 multiplied by 0 0.37. Now, um, it's the same method as estimating complex calculations video 1. We round everything to the first significant figure. So the first significant figure in this case is the 6 in the 1's column and it's the 3 in the 10th's column. So we're going to round this number to the nearest 1, which is clearly 7, and we're going to round this number to the nearest 10th, which is clearly 0 0.4. And we want to work out 7 multiplied by 0 0.4, um, th and the answer to that is, e is clearly 2.8. Now again, if you want me to go through why this is true, if we want to multiply 7 by 0 0.4, we know the answer is related to or similar to 7 multiplied by 4, which is clearly 28. So we know our answer is going to have um, a 28 in it, so 2.8 and I'm going to put the decimal point here this time. And we know um, that the answer is, the, the 7's are the same, but the answer must be divided by 10 because 4 divided by 10 gives me 0 0.4. So we're going to have to also divide our answer by 10 or make our answer smaller by 10. So we move the digits one place to the right and it's 2.8. So therefore the answer is 2.8. Okay, next one. Estimate 21.3 divided by 0 0.19. So we're going to round everything to the first significant figure as before. The 2 in the tens column is the first significant figure there, and the 1 in the tenths column is the significant figure there. We're going to round everything, and this answer here is approximately, therefore, equal to 20 divided by 0 0.2. Now, what is 20 divided by uh, 0 0.2? Well, what I'd like you to do is, I'd like you to think to yourself, we don't like dividing by decimals. It's difficult to divide by decimals. So we don't like decimals on the denominator of, of the fraction. So why don't we multiply that by 10? So it's not a decimal anymore. But in order to not change the answer, we need to multiply the numerator by 10 as well to keep the same answer. So therefore, this calculation is going to be the same thing as 200 divided by 2. And 200 divided by 2 is an easy one. It's equal to 100. Okay, so a key idea there, we didn't like 0 0.2 on the denominator, so we multiplied the denominator by 10. So as not to change the answer, we multiplied the numerator by 10 as well to make ourselves a much easier calculation to work out which would have the same value. Right, let's keep going. Example three, same old stuff. Let's uh, round everything to one significant figure. I'll highlight the digit that represents the first significant figure in each one here. And I'm going to do the rounding straight away without talking too much about it. This calculation is therefore approximately equal to 20, add eight, divided by seven, subtract five. So 20 add 8 is equal to 28, divided by 7 subtract 5 is equal to 2, and 28 divided by 2 is clearly equal to 14. And that is our approximate or estimate for the following calculation. Next example. Slightly more complicated, the numbers have uh, longer decimals in them and we're dividing by a decimal number as well. So we've got that idea that we talked about in example two to work through. So let's round everything to the first significant figure. I'm going to highlight the digit that represents the first significant figure and we're going to do the rounding using the digit after that. So this calculation is approximately equal to 400 multiplied by two and that divided by 0 0.2. So let's actually, that's therefore equal to 800 divided by 0 0.2. Now you'll remember I said in example two, we don't like dividing by decimals, okay? It's difficult to divide by decimals. So what, we, what we're what we gonna do is we're gonna multiply 
that 0 0.2 or that 0 0.2 by let's say 10 to remove the decimal and we have to multiply the top by 10 to make sure we haven't altered it and we would get therefore that this is the same as 8000 divided by 2 and 8000 divided by 2 is equal to 4000 and that's our approximate answer to this. Okay another one uh, we're going to estimate the following so um, maybe you want to pause the video and actually try this one and I'll go through in two seconds. Okay, so that was the, they were the digits that represented the first significant figure and so that approximates to um, 10 multiplied by 30, all of that divided by 0 0.2 which is actually equal to 300 divided by 0 0.2 and I don't like the decimal on the bottom, so I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator by 10 and say that's the same as 3,000 divided by 2 and 3,000 divided by 2 is 1,500. So again, we're done for this question here. Okay, try the following three questions. I'll put the answers up in 10 seconds. And here are the answers to these three questions here. Um, I showed my rounding stage and also I showed all my workings between. But the first one I estimated as 40 add 2 uh, divided by 6 take away 4, which is 42 divided by 2 is 21. The second one I estimated the uh, final answer to be equal to 20. And the last one I estimated that the final answer was going to be equal to uh, 4,000. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Good luck in your revision.